Michael Montero here with John Molina. So you've got, let's see, Jose Cito Lopez yes. next week, downtown Los Angeles Staples Center. And of course, that's on the undercard for the Spence Porter Fox pay-per-view. You're from Southern California. He's from Southern California. You guys are basically going to be fighting in front of friends. Yeah. Right? I mean, friends, it's a homecoming. family. It's a homecoming. It, right. As it should be, especially a fight of this magnitude. And I say that because the boxing world is very excited about this fight, given the fact that if you have anyone that has accomplished the same accolades that I have in my career, or have the same road, if you will, it's me and Jose. And um, we've been the guys that came up the dirt roads. We're right. the epitome of earning everything we've ever gotten these in this sport right and so i feel like it's going to be a fun fight um the guy's very similar to myself well so okay you're going to have you're fighting in front of friends family gym buddies guys yeah. that you've trained with in the uh the la fight scene for what 13 14 years you've 13 been years, 13 years yes. how do you feed off that energy in the crowd because you know socal boxing fans they're going to be cheering for this fight but without getting lured into a brawl See, that, that's just it. With, with me and Jose, I mean, I don't think we know anything different. I mean, we do. We're fighters of what we do. But uh, it's going to happen. It's like I, I've used the analogy on numerous occasions. It's an instant fight. Just add water and sit back and enjoy. <laughs> there I you mean, go. it's, um, it's going to be a fun fight. It's, it's a fight that had I not been um, you know, being in the fight, I'd want to enjoy and watch it. Oh, right. Excuse me. Um, it's going to be tough, man, but we're both gritty veterans, and I think we're going to be able to uh, handle that well. Well, you're a little bit taller. You're a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Is the plan to at least try to set up that jab and work from the outside to set up? Because you're the more powerful puncher, mm -hmm. right? You got more knockouts. Yeah. You still got that one-hitter quitter. Worked against Ivan Redcatch recently, right? Yes. Is the plan to set something like that up? Early on. I mean, the plan is to go out there and do my job. Uh, for me, again, I'm a 13-year veteran, and, we, and we've commented on that. And... It'd be a, I'd be a fool to reveal my cards, uh, you know, right, a week before the fight. But with that being said, it's, it's going to be a fun the fight, a fun fight nonetheless. Because, like I said before, it's just add water. I mean, instant fight, literally. And um, I respect Jose. Matter of fact, we're good friends. Um, right. In the boxing circle, we came up together. We're kind of the same age. We came up into this game together, and we we did our thing together. I've always knew that one day or another we were going to cross paths, but it just so happens that we, we went the roundabout way and then finally it presented itself and here it is. And this fight's at 147. At 147. Well to wait. Do you feel that that is the weight that you want to fight at for the rest of your career? Or could you see yourself maybe going down to 140 again? I believe 47 is where it's at. 47? Yeah, 47. I think okay. for the duration of my career, um, uh, you know, not getting any younger. And um, let's be honest, uh, safety comes first. Right. And, and uh, making weights that are, you know, I'm 5'10 and a half for 40, even at 47, that's kind of a stretch in, in, in the average person's eyes. Yeah. So um, I think 47 is where it's at for me. Okay. And we talked about 13 year career. Yes. You're turning 37 later uh, this yes. year? Yes. Okay. Don't, don't rub it in. <laughs> hey, I just turned 40, man. Uh, it's so, all right. So I hear you. Uh, is, do you see the light at the end of the tunnel? I know fighters don't want to talk about retirement. You don't want to start having those thoughts while you're still fighting, but do you see the light at the end of the tunnel now? Look, and I'm proud of the career that I've had. You know, I came up the dirt road. I didn't start boxing until I was 18 years old, and I've done well. Um, I don't want to say I see the light at the end of the tunnel because you're right. Once you get the R word in your head, it, it makes you a different person. Different fighter, uh, a right? A different fighter yeah. in the ring. Maybe you, you won't take the risk that you normally take, so I don't put right. that in my head. Okay. Um, Every fight, uh, you know, I take it one fight at a time. And this fight is something that needs to be respected because you have uh, two guys that are, I would say, are in the same boat in the duration or in their career right now. And that's why it makes it such an intrigue and why, why it makes it so much fun because you have two guys that have earned their stripes in this sport, in this, grit, in this brutal sport. Toughest of sports. I mean, I, again, this is not a biased opinion. I, I lived it. So you have two guys that, that have came up the back roads and earned everything they've ever gotten in this sport. They earned it. Right. So I think that's, that even adds more intrigue to the fight. Southern California brawl, maybe an old school uh, Grand Olympic Auditorium type of fight. Yeah. And um, yeah. I'm, excited about, I'm excited about being able to put on for my fans, especially a fight of this magnitude, this style of fight, the Mexican style, if you will. Right. I mean, it's going to be a fun fight.
Now, technically, you're coming off a loss. I know you have opinions about yes. that Figueroa decision, mm -hmm. but uh, he's coming off a loss too. Yes. Right. So both of you guys want to get back in the W column. Absolutely. Now, does that add pressure? Or does that add motivation? I think we're both veterans that it's, it's not a matter of, oh, that, that's irrelevant, no matter what is a fight. I, I, I'm and fans I, overrate losses too much, right? It's the best fight, the best, <sighs> some, you're gonna win given some, my, you're gonna Given some. my style, I believe so, but I, I, I don't believe, I'm a veteran, and I don't believe that's on his mind, that's not on my mind. My mind gotcha. is to go in there and fight the best fight that I can fight okay. that night. And um, I believe, and, and if I think he's thinking about that, I, I, I would be fooling myself. Okay. Because if he was thinking about that, that would give you an edge. Absolutely. And vice versa. Yeah. Right? So I think, I think gotcha. we've been doing this both a long time, and we know what to expect through that squared circle, and it's going to be a, a fun fight. Going back to what we just talked about, you know, you came to boxing a little later than yes. some of the guys who basically start boxing when they're in diapers. Yes. Those are the guys, you know, that generally speaking get worn down a little earlier mm -hmm. in their career. You think that maybe you have more longevity. You're not thinking about the R word. Is your family? Has your wife brought it up? Oh, Has I mean, of children course. Brought it up? Of course, I have kids, and, and my wife, and, you know, she said, look around. We have everything we have because of boxing. We've done well. You have a gym. Uh, yeah, yeah I have my gym. gym. Um, she says, uh, why are we doing this? But for me personally, when I go to sleep at night, this is a young man's sport. And uh, I never want to be older thinking with regret thinking man what if I should have one more in me I don't want that yeah. I don't want that hanging over my head right and um if I f I, and I watch a fight on tv and and the the, the fire gets boiling so it, yeah. it's I'm not there yet I'm not okay. I'm not at that level believe me I got no problem walking away I have a beautiful family I've done well in boxing I have no problem saying hey Pack it up. Thank you, fans. I've done so well. And you'll know. I'll, I'll, I'll de almost you'll know. definitely know, yes. Okay. You're not, you're not in a position where, you know, I see fighters, and I know you've seen this too, yeah. where they got people in their ear. Half of them are saying, maybe you should retire. The other half are saying, hey, maybe you got to keep fighting. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. You're in a position where you're in control. Yes. And you can walk whenever you want. Right? I, I'm ready to walk whenever, I, whenever, I'm, okay. whenever my mind, that little voice, if you will, says, hey, it's time. Look at the reality is this, I have a beautiful family, two beautiful daughters, a beautiful wife. I have a great life. I have a great uh, family support team. I have my, my, my friends that are here, everyone that supported me amongst my career. I've been very fortunate. Mm -hmm. um, yes, boxing is a dark sport. It's, a, it's a, a cutthroat sport, but I think that I've done well in, in the sense to where I've been able to manage myself. I have a great support system and I'm not just fighting for a buck. I don't know if that makes sense. Makes but sense. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I'm doing it because I enjoy what I do. But gotcha. it, for me, when, when it's time, I'll walk away with a smile on my face. So, okay, you got the Lopez fight. Win, lose, or draw there. Mm -hmm. Is there a goal in mind over the next year or two? Is there maybe another title shot you'd like to go for? Is there a particular fighter you're targeting? Or is it just fighting for the love of the sport and seeing where the road takes you? I like challenging myself. And being with, uh, you know, the best team, in my opinion, I think they're going to handle that for me. But um, the, the, the road, the, my, my, my mind, being that I'm a veteran, my mind is, is totally focused on the 13th. And I, I hate to sound, I mean, the 28th, I hate to sound cliche, but if I think about anything different, mm. that, that's what it is. It's a 28th. I've been a veteran for, I've been a pro fighter for 13 years. Mm -hmm. So I'm not thinking of the next guy. I'm thinking of Jose right now. And I have to because this guy is a very formidable, um, tough, gritty individual. He's been in with everybody just Every, like Just you, like right? myself. Yeah. If anyone's resume compares uh, itself to my resume, it's, it's Jose. It would be like shadow boxing in the mirror, me and him fighting. Yeah, I mean, you guys have a similar amount of fights, yes. similar road paths. You've kind of gone up and down. Like you said, you went around, and now you're yeah. coming back together. We, yeah, we took the scenic route. Right, right. But it's route. always a circle, right, in boxing. Yeah. It's always going to come back around, particularly yes. in this Southern California Matter fight. Matter of scene. fact, when they mentioned this fight, I said, oh, well, here it is. I mean, there was no negotiation. There was no big, you know, me and Jose, we don't say no to a fight. Right, um, right. It's going to be a fun fight, man. And like I said, I'm excited about the fight. L driving over here, I had a, a surge of energy thinking about, all right, it's fight week coming up. And, and it drove me. That's how I know I, I'm where I need to be. Got you. 
Yeah, and I know fight week is coming up, and you're about to get in here and do some sparring. We're about to watch you do some sparring just to get some light work in. Yes. And then basically preparations are done, right? You couple uh, light workouts next week. The hard work, hard work is done. Okay. It, it is done right now. I, I can lay in bed until the five I want to. Wouldn't be smart, but no, the hard work is done. What we did is what we did. Um, I see some hard work right here. Yeah, oh, that, that, <laughs> right that's a, my darn sparring partners, man. They still beat me up. Um, <laughs> no, it, it's the hard work is done. I did the job. Look, you never want to walk into that ring thing. Fuck. Excuse my language. Darn You're it. Good, bro. I should have. Uh, Darn it. <laughs> Darn I, I should have did it. I should have went one more round, or right, I should have right. sparred two more rounds, or ran two more miles. You don't want to go in there with that in your mind. And you've been doing this long enough to know that you crossed all your T's, dotted your I's. Yes. You're good to go. Let's talk about the 28th. Um, of course, you're going in to win. That's your prediction against Lopez, mm -hmm. right? Doing your job. Let's talk about uh, David Benavidez and Anthony Durrell. So they're going to fight for Durrell's super middleweight title that used to belong to Benavidez. Yes. How do you see that fight playing out? No, just, again, you got to remember, when, when you ask fighters about other fights, we're all friends. This boxing community know, is yeah. very small. So you don't, hey, jerk, you said that about me. Well, no, I'm going to give my honest opinion. Durrell's a very formidable champion, had a great career. My personal belief is that Benavidez is the next big thing in boxing. Next big thing in boxing. Hmm. Um, so, I mean, may the best man win. But you I'm, can say I, it. I, Benavidez I, stoppage, right? I, I believe he can stop That's him. my prediction. Yeah, yeah, I believe he can stop him. But look at There's a time and a place for everything. And right now, I think it's Benavidez's time. Okay, then main event. Yes. Errol Spence, Sean Porter. I've been on record saying I think Sean Porter is going to be the biggest challenge for Errol Spence. Mm -hmm. I think that because, yeah, he fought Kell Brook, but Kell Brook was coming down, what, two weight classes. His face was broken by Golovkin. And then he had a, a, a couple other tough fights. I mean, Mikey Garcia was obviously really good, skilled, pound for pound level fighter, but moving up two weight classes. Yes. I think Porter is going to be his toughest fight. How do you see that fight playing out, that main event? It's a fun fight. It's an intriguing fight because you have Porter who's, abnormally strong. I mean, especially for the weight. Here's the man that started, I think, professional career at almost 160, if I'm not mistaken. So it's, it's a definite tough fight. He's um, like a bowling ball. Just kind of just no, I mean, th that's a, a scary man to have in front of you because uh, he don't want to lose. And he's been in there with the best. He's beaten some of the best, and he lost, some of the, lost to some of the best. Um, but I think Earl Spence uh, is, is a... Is a, is a Boxing savant, I think he's very, very well uh, technically sound. And I think no matter what face Sean Porter shows in there, I think uh, Earl Spence will know how to handle it. So it's a fun fight. May the best man win. And I will not be surprised if Sean Porter were to pull out the quote-unquote upset mm -hmm. or vice versa. Whoever wins, I won't be surprised because okay. at this level, both these guys are there. Okay. And if, if it just came to uh, you fighting or you being offered to fight with either the winner or loser of that fight at some point, would you, would you be interested in that? Uh, it's something that, I, again, um, I've stated before, myself and Lopez, if, if for that matter, we've never said no to a fight. I mean, I don't believe we've ever had the opportunity. We had to come up and earn our bones the, 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 the old school way, if you will. Mm -hmm. And um, a any, anybody, and not, not anyone can get it. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> Broner, but man. I'm yeah. the k man, but... <laughs> This is what I do for a living. This is how I provided for my family. And I'm, you know, I, I love boxing, or otherwise I wouldn't be doing it, but I love my family more. And like I always say, am I willing to die for boxing? Absolutely not. Am I willing to die for my family? 100% yes. Right. That's the difference. Are they going to be there Saturday? Yes, the, the, they'll, they'll definitely be there. I believe for the first time my, my daughters may not be in the audience because I think my wife wants more of a, adult time and kudos to her as as she should because when i'm in camp i'm physically home but mentally i'm not checked in so I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah i'm checked into the fight so you know hats off to all you women that are doing it man because uh, that's that's a hard job and uh, uh, believe me i know because i see from an outside perspective what my wife goes on a daily keeping the house in order yeah because as you get closer to fight week, your personality no, it, it's, just I mean, completely changes. I've been with my wife throughout my whole professional career, and we just had this conversation. She says, man, you get that, you get that, that very – I mean, it got so bad where I snapped at her in a text message. I was <laughs> pushing hard, like, hey. Taking jabs right there. Yeah, exactly. Say. And she's like, all right, I'll go into the room. I'll leave you alone. But, uh, 
you know, that's part of being, like I said, I have a great support system. Mm -hmm. And so, that's all part of it, right? They, and you need to be. Yeah. I mean, especially at this level, you need to have a great support system. Um, Do you think that's the difference between guys that kind of crack and just that you, because you see guys with all this talent, all this potential, and they start getting the wrong people around them and it seems to break. Yeah, uh, it, no, I, I believe that and the individual, the mental toughness. First of all, boxing's a, a tough sport in itself as it, as it is, but, and to get here, you gotta be mentally tough. And then when the going gets good and the money's coming in and, and, everyone, and, and everyone wants to be your friend, and then you gotta realize what it took to get to that position, you can't forget. And if you're not mentally strong enough to continue to push through that, you're gonna be in trouble. I think a good example of that is going to be Andy Ruiz coming up. The guy hit his celebrityness after winning this fight. Hats off to him as, he, as it should. And I believe he's gritty and mentally strong enough to, to be able to get past that and continue to go forward and be successful. You think he's going to win that rematch? I believe he's going to win that rematch. Yeah? I believe he has uh, Joshua's number. Do you think he's going to knock him out again? Knock, knock, like knock him down multiple times? Because that first fight, it wasn't just a lucky punch. No. He dropped him four times. It was, uh, I believe... Uh, Andy Ruiz stops him again. Really? I believe. Uh, Another stop. I think, I think Joshua, look at, I'm a fighter, and I believe I'm the epitome of a fighter in, in all aspects of the, of the word fighter. I've right. lived it. I've seen it. I've done it all. I did it twice. And no matter what, there's always something in your head. And that fight is going to be lingering in, in Joshua's head no matter what. He knows whether he didn't prepare, whether he did prepare. He knows what happened in that ring. It's going to be tough for him to stop that. And it's in his head. So when he gets in that squared circle and the bell rings, that'll still be in the back of his mind. He's, not going, to, he's going to be very reluctant to open up because he knows if he gets caught, it's going to be yeah. the same, uh, same predicament. Because that's how he got caught the first time. In my belief, Andy Ruiz, uh, T, uh, another TKO. Man, that's big. I mean, that's huge. If he wins that fight again, that proves that's not a fluke. It, it's then not, next it's not year, a fluke. It's Here's the example. What happened when Vernon Forrest fought Shane Mosley? What's up, brother? How you doing? Sir. Um, my first trainer of all time. Awesome. Um, when Vernon Forrest fought Shane Mosley in the amateurs, in the professional, in the professional, he had his number. Sometimes there's, there. there's guys that have his number, and, and I believe Andrew Ruiz has Joshua's number. It could be Saudi Arabia. It could be on the moon. It's going to be the same. Gotcha. Well, everyone's showing up. I know you got to get gloved up, taped up, and get some sparring in. John, thanks a lot. Thank you. Good luck Saturday. Make sure you guys are watching Fox. Pay-per-view, PBC, John Molina taking on Jose Cito Lopez at Staples Center, downtown Los Angeles.